Wow. The Lakers have traded Kendrick Nunn and three second round draft picks for Rui Hachimura. This is a great trade. They are getting a young, big wing, something that they desperately need. And all they're giving up is Kendrick Nunn, a player who has been playing better recently, but not good enough to remain on the roster. The biggest value they're giving up, of course, is the three second rounders. Three second round draft picks is not something to overlook, especially with the Lakers scouting department having the ability to consistently find talent late in the draft. But I think it's worth it when you're getting a guy like Rui Hachimura. This trade is good for both sides. The Wizards were a little crowded in the front court, and the Lakers were crowded in the back court. So they both benefited from this trade. But obviously, we're going to focus on the Lakers side of things. Throughout the season, and even last season, we were begging for the Lakers to get more big wings. They were way too small on the perimeter, having to play three, sometimes even four guards at the same time. And that didn't go too well, especially against teams with big wings. But now the Lakers have solidified their wing rotation, with Troy Brown Jr. stepping up, obviously LeBron, and now Rui Hachimura. He's more of a four that can play the three if needed. He's a bulky guy that can handle the physicality of bigger players. I envision him having a role similar to Markeith Morris. Not the exact same player or archetype, but they play similar positions. So defensively, he'll allow the Lakers to switch a lot more. Offensively, he's solid. He's averaging 13 points per game this season. He's a decent three-point shooter. This season, he's shooting 34%. Last season, he shot an insane 44%. So he's probably somewhere in between. He's averaging about 35% throughout his career. So he's shooting well enough for the defense to have to guard him from there. And therefore, he can space the floor. But he's going to get even better looks now that he's playing with LeBron and AD. And he's also played with Westbrook. So I think there will be instant chemistry there, with Russ being able to set him up for easy baskets. Now Russ could be on his way out, so it might not even matter. But if teams continue to demand multiple first rounders for him, then he's likely going to be on the Lakers. Thomas Bryant and Troy Brown Jr. were also on that same Wizards team. So I think on the court, this is a perfect fit. And the transition for him will be fairly easy. Now, the best thing about this trade is that Hachimura is young and he could be a part of the Lakers core for a long time. Honestly, I'm surprised the Wizards gave up on him so early. I guess they're going the Kyle Kuzma direction. He has championship experience and is probably better at creating for himself. Probably is the better player right now. But Kuzma is pretty much as good as he's going to get. Rui, on the other hand, still has a lot of upside and could be a much better player down the line. The Lakers are giving up quite a bit in draft capital, but they're getting back someone that could be a key piece for years to come. Now, he will be a restricted free agent after this season, but that means the Lakers can match any offer that is given to him. So more than likely, he'll remain with the Lakers after this season. And at the end of the day, you're filling a position that you desperately needed and you didn't have to give up a first round draft pick. So this is definitely a win for the Lakers. Another benefit that comes with Rui, and it's not so much on the court, but more so on the business side, is he's going to bring in a lot of fans, particularly from Japan and even from other parts of Asia. I'm sure the Lakers are going to sell a lot of Hachimura jerseys and a lot more people are going to tune in to Laker games because of him. Now he's definitely going to benefit from the Lakers as well. That Lakers brand and all that attention that comes from it is going to do wonders for him. Now, does he make the Lakers a contender? Probably not. 
He's not an all-star caliber player. Who knows, maybe that'll change down the line. But as of right now, his talent alone is not enough to catapult the Lakers into championship contention. Now he does improve the team overall and puts them in a better position. He allows the Lakers to play bigger. And guys like Austin Reeves and Lonnie Walker, they can move down positions where they'll be more effective, guarding smaller players. And with LeBron and AD playing the way they have been this season, this gives them a puncher's chance. But I don't think they're done making moves. It's still relatively early. I know most of us are thinking this took way too long. Compared to what we were hearing early on in the season, this is pretty late. But in terms of the actual trade deadline, there's still a lot of time. There's a couple weeks left and most deals are done right at the deadline. And the Lakers still have their biggest trade piece, Russell Westbrook. They also have their two first round draft picks. They have Patrick Beverly's expiring contract. Now, Lonnie Walker has been great this year. I doubt that they would trade him, but trading him is an option if the Lakers feel like they can't keep him next season because he's going to be too expensive, similar to Malik Monk last year. But if the right deal comes along, maybe they do make a big trade with all these assets. Or maybe they just make a couple smaller trades. And when it's all said and done, who knows? Maybe the Lakers are contenders. But we just have to wait and see what happens. But for now, the Lakers are in a good place. They are playing better basketball. Their injured players are set to return fairly soon. The biggest one, of course, being Anthony Davis. And now they're bringing in a player that can play a role that they've desperately needed all season. Their roster looks more balanced. It's starting to make sense. The Lakers are headed in the right direction, and we fans definitely have something to be excited about.